Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Crystal Heart. My name is Crystal and today we are doing a little review. Okay, before we get into the review and the unboxing of this product, y'all go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Y'all don't forget to also hit the subscribe button. All my links to my socials are in the bottom in the description box. Also, if you want to join our Facebook group, that will also be in the description box as well. I also want to say that my P.O. box will no longer be active because the place is closing down. So if you have the P.O. box, do not use that P.O. box. I'll be getting a new one soon. Okay, so here's the deal. On Friday's live, we were talking about cleaning out the sewing machines and I mentioned how I use the can of air spray and some of y'all say y'all use it too but then other people are like oh no you can't blow the dirt back into the machine so I'm like mm, okay well I think it's Miss Gina suggested a small vacuum and I was like why didn't I think about that that's like genius but probably everybody knows about it so I went on Amazon and I found one so this was a cheap one Here's what it looks like. We're going to open it up, see what's in it, test it out. Um, if it's good and you like it and you want to try it, I'll have the link for it below. I am an Amazon affiliate, so I'll get some kickback if you decide to order it from that link. But, um, yeah. And also, I'll if it's good, I'll put it in my Amazon storefront as well. But let's go ahead in the downward view and check it out, open it, and see what it's about. Okay, so here we are. It's the brand is apparently Honk, and I've never heard of that before, but that's what it is. And it's just called the Mini Portable Vacuum Cleaner. So um, it says Suction Strong Mini Portable Vacuum Cleaner. The back shows it that that is being used in a keyboard, on a dog bed, and in the car. So there you go. Let's go ahead and open it and see. Alright, so everything comes out like this. has a USB. Uh, whatever this is for. I guess we'll figure it out. And the paper. So there's the instructions. This is the actual machine. So it has a good little weight to it. It doesn't feel super cheap or anything. Um, open and close. I'm assuming that's how you empty it out. Uh, open. Oh, this little thing is like an extra filter. And then close. So it also has a little brush. So I guess you can brush suction. And then these are also the heads that come with it. So we have just a little tip like this. Shoom, 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 shoom. Then we have the little brush tip. Like that. Okay. So we're going to take it over to the sewing machine. Uh, let me see if it has any charge. I'll have to charge it. Oh, this is just a little plastic piece on the back. Oh, that's where the power button is. Let's see. No, I'll need to charge it and then I'll take it to the sewing machine and we'll test it out there. And it just comes with a uh, USB charger. So I'll connect it right now. And I'll see you at the sewing machine. Okay, y'all, so I got some charge on it. Um, I think that it already had charge, and I just wasn't pressing the button the right way to turn it on. It says that it takes four hours to get a complete charge, but I literally only charged it for a few minutes. But this is the button. I was supposed to hold it down for two seconds. And then it turns on. And I have... I'm just turning it off so y'all can hear me. But I have some little flyways right here so we'll try it on there first and then we'll try it in the machine so here we go
Okay, so it definitely picked up everything inside on the outside of the machine on my Mac. So now let's see what it can do on the inside of the machine. This is where it really matters. Okay, so I'll put y'all closer to inside of my machine and we're gonna go ahead and see what's up. Okay, as y'all can see, there is a lot of buildup in the machine. I have not cleaned it since the last project. So let's see what we can do. Okay, I would have to say that it did pick up a lot, but I think I need to brush some of this because of the oil in the machine. Some of this is like stuck on the machine. So let me get the brush and let's try that. Okay, it worked much better um, after I was able to brush some of this off, which um, which if you're already down there brushing, do we need the vacuum? But I guess brushing it doesn't take it out of the machine. So I guess, yes, the vacuum takes it completely out of the machine. So I just took the bobbing case out. Okay, let's open it up and see how much it has taken out. So, so this is all the little bitsies it took out, which is cool. So I did get a bunch. I'm gonna just clean it off and put it back. All right, let's talk about my final thoughts. Okay, y'all. So my final thoughts on this mini vacuum. I do like it and I will use it. I do actually recommend it. So when I bought this, it was $22.99 with a 5% off coupon on Amazon. So I got it for about $20. Well, I just checked on Amazon and it is on sale for $19.99 with an additional 5% off coupon on there. You have to click the button to get the 5% off coupon. And so that will even bring it even lower than what I paid for it. So in that case, I definitely think it's worth it. Um, will it replace my can of air? Yes and no. I will not blow the inside of my machine with the can of air anymore. But as far like the top of the machine, I think that the can of air to blow it real off really quick is a lot quicker than um, then using this, this got all the little threads from around the around my machine, so I'll definitely use it for that. I think um, that was awesome because you know when you sew, you have a lot of threads and fuzzies all over around your machine. So this is an easy way to sh pick it up and not have to worry about brushing it all up and trying to get into the trash can without getting it on the floor. So. I am happy that I bought this. I will definitely be using it in the sewing room. And as for what it is for right now, I recommend it. If anything changes in the future, I will let you guys know. The link for it will be in the description box. Um, and don't forget to hit that 5% off coupon. So, yeah. I enjoyed this and I think you guys will too. So, if you enjoyed this review, y'all don't forget to hit up the thumbs up button if you if it's your first time here then don't forget to subscribe check out all the socials below and i'll see you guys next time bye